The biggest threat to shark bay seagrasses has been climate change. So we had a severe marine heat wave in 2011 that killed off almost a thousand square kilometres. Here, what we're doing is we're involved with a restoration program with the Mulgana Rangers. They are very concerned about the loss of Wurria Jalianu, which is the seagrasses in the Mulgana language. We're trialling a couple of different processes so that we can actually scale up the amount of restoration that we can do to turn around damage in this system. So we're starting out with seagrass snagger and they're essentially sandbags uh, made from hessian and what we do is put them on the seafloor so they actually slow up the water movement and provide a surface for which the dispersing amphibolous or wireweed seedlings can attach to and then start to grow a new meadow. Another method we're doing is traditional planting using transplants from Posidonia and swap plants from two different locations and see whether they grow better in their home local environment or plants that come in from outside grow better. We'll see small changes over the next five years, but the big changes, the big growth of the seagrasses will occur 10 years after we plant it. So we've got to play the decadal game here into the future.